Are we ready? She's doing two jobs on that. <laughs> Good to go. Okay. Thank you for coming, folks. I'd like to call this meeting to order. First thing on the agenda is to approve the minutes of our last meeting, which was July the 11th, 2018. I assume all of you had a chance to check it out. And uh, are there any questions or anything about the minutes? And if not, do I hear a motion to approve the minutes of July 11th? So moved. Thank you. Do I hear a second? Second. Thank you. All in favor of approving the minutes, say aye, please. Aye. aye. Opposed? Nay. One abstention. One abstention because she wasn't here. <laughs> That's only appropriate. Thank you. Okay, Hannah, are you going to present our next item? I am. All right, so we had a certificate of appropriateness uh, submitted, and it's for two different storefronts that are joined together, uh, and the applicants are here today. Um, and it's for 312 and 314 East Main Street. And you can see uh, the building on the corner. It doesn't really show up on there, but it, it's right beside Regions Bank, uh, the large uh, uh, stone building um, just around the corner from the square. So uh, we do have one photo of what it used to look like, which shows that brick parapet. Um, and this is what it looks like today. So as you can see, there has been significant change to this building over the years. And so the applicants are interested in taking it back to uh, a little bit what it used to look like. So they want to remove the stucco uh, up on that top um, and the faux stone around the windows and doors. Um, and they want to expose as much original brick as possible. Uh, they want to paint the brick where it's already been painted um, if, if they can expose it. Um, they want to expose the existing transom framings and recreate them if possible with new materials. Uh, and, of course, all this depends on what they uncover when they really get in there, so we all know that can change depending on the project. Uh, they want to remove the canvas awning, uh, the red striped canvas awning, and uh, install a three-foot suspended metal awning under those transoms once they're in place again, and replace the doors with eight-foot tall paintable metal doors, and then install additional trim. So I try to include quite a few uh, photos in your packet, and then this is from the architect, a mock-up of what they're interested in doing. So if you guys have any questions for me or for the applicants, let me know. Okay. This is a, this is a very interesting project and a good project. Uh, do we have any questions for the applicants? Our questions for Hannah. Like I said, we won't know until they start removing the stucco uh, as to um, how much damage is done to the brick. Uh, I do applaud this effort, though, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I know that uh, buildings can acquire changes that become historically important. However, I don't think this one has uh, hit that point. <laughs> so I'm really pleased that we're going to try to get back to what's originally there. Um, surely we have some questions. And staff will be working with them as this pro project progresses just to, you know, with updates and just make sure everything's staying on track. Uh, so. We'll, we'll see as, as it happens. <laughs> so in a case like this, we would ask that there be some leeway put uh, between staff and the applicants. So you're kind of approving the overall um, 
understanding, understanding that there will be some modifications. Yes. Very slight. Anything of significance, we would come back and bring to you for approval. Um, but when you're trying to expose transoms that can't be seen yet, mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> parapet walls that are covered up, we really have no idea what's underneath them until you start tearing it off. So there's, an, there's an intent, and that's as much as we can tell you is the intent of the restoration is this. And the intent is in the right thing. So. Correct. Okay, so with that, keeping that in mind, uh, do I hear a motion to approve the COA 2018-008? I move the approval of that as it meets, uh, it seems to meet the guidelines as represented in the staff report um, and to encourage them to do a good job. Nice. I'll second that. Thank you. Second. Thank you. All in favor, state aye, please. Aye. aye. Opposed? Nay. Thank you. All right, and this is going to be exciting just to watch this process. And uh, we we really do applaud you for and cafe downtown. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow, that was fast. Thank you. It was all about you. Uh, it was. He, it was all about us. He told me that there was no, nothing else on the agenda. It was all about us. I was like, I like it. It's all about us. So, like, <laughs> well, and you guys might be interested in the next item okay. I'll be okay. talking about, just as a just FYI. Okay. All right. Okay, so. Uh, HRG, Historic Restoration Grant. Uh, we are coming up on the end of the 2017-2018 cycle. Those receipts are due on October 12th. So uh, the letters have been sent out. People have been reminded, notified, so we're waiting on those to come in. Uh, we have had a couple, as you guys remember, we um, have had a couple go through already from that round. And then uh, new applications are due October 18th. So as a reminder, uh, Projects that are eligible include any exterior restoration, rehabilitation uh, of a building in the historic overlay. So a building would qualify, say at 312 um, East Main, um, and the the maximum reimbursement is 50%, um, and all the projects must be done within the year. No work that has already been done. Um, it has to be approved by you guys before they can be approved for the grant funding. Um, so we are uh, finishing that up. Um, we have still $21,000 worth of projects out that we're waiting to, to be submitted so we can close those out. Some of these may be uh, defaults. It just depends on what these applicants, if they've finished or not. So. Uh, at this point, we will have more than the typical twenty-five thousand dollars. If that's what we, if that's what City Council uh, transfers to us again uh, to this fund, and so we have eighteen thousand two hundred dollars worth of defaults and extra from the cycle before. So uh, that's just people who didn't quite get their project done, and then projects that came in under budget. Uh, the, that extra money is kept in the fund as well. So um, I know that was a lot of information, but uh, if you guys have any questions or clarifications, I can, I can help. So we're expecting, if the city council approves everything, to have $43,000 worth of funds uh, to grant out. That's correct. That would be a good amount to start with. Mm -hmm. You getting any indication of interest in we, ha we have had somebody ask about it already, uh, asking when the when the deadline is, uh, and we have sent out all the letters, uh, just reminding people that this is available to them. We send it with the COA application and the HRG application, so they have everything they need to submit it back to us if they're interested. So those went out this week. Good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Well. always helpful if the, those of you sitting up there would tell others about the right. program. There are some years, those of you who have been around for more than a couple of years, and those are new ones. Um, we've had years where I'm begging people to apply, and we've had years where we have so many people apply that the amount of money allocated is very small. 
the years that we have a lot of applicants is when the members of HLPC have mentioned it to others. Hannah is sending out over 300 letters that are going out, they went out today, and that is to every property owner within Historic Overlay. However, property owners change. And so by the time some of them get it, it will be towards the end of that process, and so we ask you to help in that endeavor. Since at least three of you own property in Historic Overlays, um, we can talk to your neighbors. Okay. All right. Very good. Well, thank you everyone for attending and this meeting is adjourned and we will meet again next month first monday yep thank you thank you there it is well, exactly. <laughs> Till next time i know <laughs> i know well, i had a fun thing in my house tune in and see oh, you on television oh, on the oh boy did you ever yeah. tune in